Guys, thanks for clicking on the video, much appreciated. Today I'm going to show you the practical realities of owning an electric car in the UK in 2021 by taking my Kia e Nero on a 500 mile road trip down to Plymouth and back again. But before I do that, really help me out if you just click on the subscribe button for this channel. Of course, benefit for you is you get to stay up to date with all of my EV based adventures. So hit the subscribe button guys and enjoy the video. 242 miles of range, that's 100%. It's a little over 200 miles to Plymouth, so we'll see how that gets us on. Um, we're gonna have to stop. First stop, McDonald's Wing Canton. That's an hour and 49 minutes away where there's an Instavolt charger, so probably plug in there, get some chips. I do normally charge the car at home, but I sometimes make use of a nearby pod point charger, which is free at the point of use. I do have to pay for parking, so at this point I'd spent £2.20 to get about 240 odd miles of range. Stopped at Wayhill Services, uh, only about an hour into this journey, but needed a comfort break, so I stopped here. There is a charger here, uh, it's Genie Point. I don't have an account and I can't really be bothered to set one up, so I'm not going to plug in, no need to. Despite this journey being pretty much all A roads and no motorways, there are at least five rapid chargers on this route down to the southwest from London, delivering at least 50 kilowatts, so plenty of opportunities to charge. So with a slight change in plan, we motored on down past Stonehenge and pulled in at Route 303, which is a great little stop and has a couple of Instavolt chargers. Anyway, so we had to wait a <laughs> few minutes for the charger to become free. But now we're plugged in and charging pretty quickly. We're going about 53 kilowatts, which is pretty good. Um, so I'll probably stay here for another 15, 20 minutes and then get back on the road. First time I've charged in such close proximity to livestock, I'd say. After about 20 minutes of charging, we got on our way to Plymouth, where it's safe to say conditions were less than optimal. On my last trip to Plymouth, I'd stayed in a hotel, which happened to have three on-site chargers. However, this time we were in an apartment which had, well, precisely none. So, a quick check on ZapMap to find my nearest public charger. So I found these chargers that are just uh, like one minute from where we're staying, uh, pub point. Um, initially thought they were the free to use ones, but they're not. Um, because supposedly they're 22 kilowatt AC chargers, but I'm um, getting seven at the minute. Uh, the e Nero should be able to take 11. So that's a bit frustrating because um, now I'm paying for a charge which I probably didn't need to pay this amount for. It's pound an hour uh, and also pound an hour to park here. So uh, not the cheapest, but to be honest, for the rest of my week here. So I'm going to get charged in and that'll be enough, uh, a few hours now will be enough to get me through the rest of the week uh, and then we can crack on. So at the end of day one, we'd driven a total of 210 miles, spent £16 on charging in two separate stops and we still had 180 miles of range in the car. First full day in Plymouth, the weather was better and it was off to the office. So just finished up uh, a working day here in Plymouth, first one. Um, didn't do a huge amount in the car today, probably only about 15 miles uh, travelling to office uh, across Plymouth. And then tomorrow I've got a bit of a longer drive out to see a supplier for work. Uh, it's about 25 miles each way uh, into the Devon, I think Cornwall. Back uh, from day two, or full day two, day three in Plymouth. Uh, did a 50 mile round trip up to uh, into Cornwall today over the River Tamar. Um, nice drive, uh, 25 miles there each way. Um, got 132 miles left of range in the car. I thought about plugging it in tonight, but I can't really be asked. I'm, I've got a delivery order coming. Um, so, but it's be fine. I've got about maybe 20 miles to do tomorrow at most in and around town and then back on the road. So, that would be more than enough to get us most halfway up home and then I'll plug in to one of the chargers up there that's faster um, and a bit easier to use. 
All right, it's lunchtime on day four. Um, and I actually was going for lunch in Central Town. Um, and I noticed it's a charger nearby where I'm going to be parked for a couple of hours. So I thought it makes sense to try and get a charge. Um, we've got 124 miles on um, off range at the minute anyway, but if it's sitting there, I might as well try and uh, top it up. Means I'll have to stop less on the way back home tonight. So, fingers crossed, I've just registered for Genie Point, which is the charger provider. Um, not used there before, um, so I did have to register for one new provider this trip. Well, I didn't have to, but I've chosen to. So, let's see how easy it is to get connected. It all looked so promising when I pulled up to six empty charging bays, but alas, I could not get these chargers started for love nor money. I didn't have time to ring the helpline, so I just accepted that I wasn't going to get a free charge today in Plymouth. So midway through day four, I'd done about 300 miles, attempted to charge three times, had one unsuccessful charge and still only spent £16. Here we are. Leaving Plymouth after a four day trip. Uh, some high, some lows in reference to charging. So, wanted to get a charge in before we left, or there was an opportunity, but couldn't get the charges working. So, uh, a bit frustrating. But we've got 120 miles here. So, a brief stop on the way home should be fine to get us there. Probably no more than 15 20 minutes, I reckon. Again, we were aiming for a one-stop strategy on the way back, but our need for sugar and a quick comfort break got the better of us. So we stopped at Route 303 and, well, plugged in for a little bit because the charges were free and why not? Thought, Sally. <laughs> Sally, thought. I'd rather be at McDonald's doing Canton. Okay, but... Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> So it's only about another 45 minutes up to Wing Canton, which turns out is a great place to stop if you're an EV driver. You can choose from not one, not two, but three providers here, uh, although I didn't manage to actually get a picture of the third one. Trust me, you can. We plugged into Instavolt just because it's super easy to use and stopped for about 20 minutes to eat our dinner. Just at Wing Canton here, having a McFlurry. Just to confirm this video is not sponsored by McDonald's. Back on the old Instavolts. Good stuff, although these these ones here are only 50 kilowatt. Nice one up. Uh, Route 303 is 150 kilowatt, so not much effect on us, but a little bit slower. But uh, no more flurries at Route 303, so swings and roundabouts. After that pit stop, it was about another 100 miles back home, uh, which went pretty seamlessly. Even though we had to do a 10 mile detour because our junction on the M25 was closed, we made it home with plenty of charge and in pretty reasonable time. So in 500 miles, we attempted to charge five times, got four successful charges, spent a grand total of about two minutes waiting for a charger and spent £35 in total. Hopefully that's bust a few myths about the range of electric vehicles and the availability of chargers in the UK at least. And made you think again about the practicalities of driving an EV. Thanks for watching guys. Again, please hit the subscribe button for the channel. Really appreciate it and see you next time.